What does it mean to depress something? If you're driving your car and you have to stop, what do you do? You depress the brake, right? You push it down. Okay. So what's what gets pushed down in depression? Feelings. Yeah. Feelings of joy. Feelings. Emotions. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, why would somebody push down their emotions? Have you ever met a one-day-old baby that depresses their emotions? No. No. Why would somebody depress? I'm, I'm, this is, I'm not testing you here. I'm sort of asking leading questions, I admit. But why would somebody depress their emotions? You know why they would depress their emotions? Because somebody read Jordan Peterson's book. And 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 uh, we, 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 which we, which says that the day the way you, that an angry child should be made to sit by themselves till they come back to normal, the kid desperately wants to belong and be close to the parents. That's an absolute need of the child. That's called attachment. Attachment is our sense of belonging and connection with, for the sake of being taken care of. Then when you say to the child, but when you're angry. You can't be around me. The child, what message does the child get? If I have my authentic anger, as a two-year-old, by the way, if you don't make your kid angry, you're not doing your job <laughs> because your kid wants mm. because your kid wants a cookie before dinner. And if you're doing your job as a parent, you're not going to give him a cookie before dinner. You're going to say no cookie before dinner. Now, what do human what do immature human beings do when their desires are frustrated? They throw a tantrum. That's what I do when we are frustrated, you know, even into my 60s. And I have to say almost into my, well, I'm 78 now, but I can still get that way sometimes, you know, much less than I used to. So the two-year-old throws a tantrum because they wanted that cookie. Because the two-year-old can't make a distinction between his needs and his desires. Now, if the parent is emotionally grounded and understands the child, the parent will perfectly will understand why the child is angry, won't take it personally, doesn't see it as bad behavior, sees it as a natural response to frustration. And says, oh, you're really angry right now because you really wanted that cookie. Yeah. But you don't punish the child. If you punish the child for the anger, the message the child gets is, if I'm angry, I'm not acceptable to my parents. I better push on that feeling. I better depress it. This isn't conscious. It's adaptive. It's an adaptive behavior on the part of the child to repress the anger because to express it is to threaten the relationship with the parents. So the depression becomes an adaptive response. They're pushed on their feelings. And 30 years later, since the child doesn't do it consciously, it's an automatic defensive adaptation on the part of the organism. They can't stop it. So 10, 20, 30 years later, they're still pushing down their emotions. Mm -hmm. Now they're diagnosed with a disease called depression. It's not mm -hmm. a disease that they inherited. It's an adaptive mechanism.